Okay, no more than debate, you useless little bastard. There's nearly one o'clock in the day. Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus fuck's sake. There's a mug of tea for you now. Get up and drink it. Yeah, sound. Thanks. Drink that fucking tea after I'm making it. You'll turn out another useless bollocks like that fucking Egypt of a father of yours. You'll amount to fucking nothing. Side in debate now again all fucking day. Right, Jesus, fuck off, will ya? I'm off. Christ. You fuck off and get a job. Says fucking around in town inside in cares with that pack of fucking wankers. And they all only laughing at you. I may as well have been having a hell shit at having you. Oh, Jesus, the dead rose and appeared to many. What's on the agenda today, Dickie? Same thing I tells you every morning, Uncle Frank. Sweet fuck all. More like every afternoon now, in fairness, Dickie. Oh, Jesus, please, Frankie, don't you fucking start now as well. The mother is forever fucking at me. I am not able. The rest don't I know well. The whole sister of mine was always an insufferable old bitch. Wasn't it well our mother had to leave the house to the pair of us? You do well to get a job now and get away out of it, lad. Or you'll end up like me, caught here with the old bitch forevermore. Will you ever shut up talking shite? That young fella's bad enough besides you filling his head with shit. And put out that fucking fag in the house! If you weren't such an insufferable old cunt now, maybe you'd still have your married home. And you wouldn't have to be here listening to my shite. And why don't you fill your own son's head with shite? Because your son wants fuck all got to do with you, that's why. He must have gotten the brains from his mother. Because he certainly didn't get him off of you. Oh hey, you're perfectly capable of fucking Declan up all by yourself. So could you blame Declan's father for fucking off with another woman? Listening to fucking you the whole time. Declan would be grand if all the men in his life weren't useless bastards. His father was a useless bastard, and his uncle is the most useless bastard who ever put on a pair of shoes. And I've absolutely no fucking doubt whatsoever. Declan will turn out every bit as fucking useless as he. He'll amount to absolutely sweet fuck all. Jesus, you'll have to do something soon, Dickie. You'll be swinging before you're 21 if you keep listening to that old witch. Ah, for fuck's sake, Frank, you think I don't fucking know that? There's no fucking jobs, what do you expect me to fucking do? That young fella did leasons there, he'd be about the one age as yourself. He's after getting a job in the council below, I think. Could you not get something like that, no? He only got that job because his father was on the fucking council. No danger I'd have a relation if he get me a job. No. All you do is whinge, as if you weren't complete fuck-ups yourselves. Here the jays is Declan, I'm only trying to look out for you, Zad. Ah, uh, look, I know, Frankie. I'm just melted from listening to you, Zad. Here uh, look, that's fair enough too, I suppose. There never was much in the way of opportunity in around this place. Here, I'll see you this evening, Dickie. <laughs> yeah, in the early hours of the morning, you mean. <laughs> Go on, your bollocks. Good luck to you. Why is everyone driving diesels now? You see nothing but dirt burners these days. Leads and fucking golfs and Audis is all you see. Shit crack like. We may as well be at a tractor meet. Hard times, lad. Nobody's the money for the chap yokes anymore. We're the last of a dying breed. Yeah, lads are getting all sensible now with their German dirt burners. Gear enough to go play house, I suppose. Is that all there is to this shit existence? Yeah, a few of the lads and babies now, like. Fucking babies. Would you be well in the fucking head? That wouldn't be so bad, would it? He might be nice to the family someday. Personally, I'd rather eat me own pods. Yeah, lad. Fuck that. We'll be dead long enough. There's plenty of time for all that shit crack. I'd like a family someday. Ah, shut up, will ya? Are you racing tonight, lad? Nah, lad. To keep the petrol I have. Broke as fuck. Hard times, lad. We could always pull an Irish goodbye at the petrol station if we get stuck. Fuck it, lad. I don't want to be making a habit of that. 
Best to quit when we are ahead with that shit. Last thing I need now is to be up in court. Again. Give a horn to a snowman. Suppose you're right, lad. Speaking of the horn, Jacinta's looking farewell tonight. Stop, lad. You should see the box nerf. To bring a tear to a glass eye. She's sitting on the right like a nudes there. Sound young one in fairness to her. I'll show you later. <laughs> You're some piece of shit, boy. I'll definitely have a hawk, though. Look on. John Paul Gleason is here with his new skyline. I'd say he wants a hawk at Jacinta's box too. And he might just fucking get it. That car is fucking unreal. Where's he getting the money for that joke? Well, his father got him the job working for the fucking council. Bollocks is minted. Here he's on now. Ugh, what is this insufferable bollocks right now? Alright Dicky, you still driving that shit back Civic are ya? Yeah, we don't all have daddies with big jobs and small knobs, lad. You won't have that shit back civic for much longer either. I hear the credit union on that fucking thing. Do they fuck? That car's my own. Just as well I don't need a fancy car to get fanny. With a face like yours, you need all the help you can get, lad. Smart words from a tick cunt. We'll see how smart you are after I blow that shit civic off the road. You may fuck off, cunt. I'm not racing tonight. No? Why is that? You got no money for petrol? Yeah, lad. Hard times. We'll probably have to go rob some later on. Shut up, tough fuck, will ya? I have plenty fucking petrol, by. Not sure why I'd have to prove racing a fancy skyline. Sounds a bit fucking desperate to use all. Oh, it's just that I heard the Type R badges on that joke were fake as well. Just wanted to see if it was true. Are they fuck ya, cunt? I'll give you fake Type R badges, you fucking weasel. See if you can drive that big car, because I know for a fact you wouldn't drive nails. Oh no! He's in big man mode! Here we go now! Don't do it, lad! You can't win! That Skyline is on real fast! He's gonna make a pure joke out of you! I'll outdrive that cunt, lad! I know what I'm doing! Don't bother, lad! There's no talking to him when he's in big man mode! I know, yeah, but I had to try. You should have listened to your friends, Dicky. I'm going to enjoy making a show out here. Yeah, and I'm going to enjoy pissing on your fucking grave after you crashed that joke and burnt a dent in the side of the road screaming. Jesus, lad! <laughs> Out of petrol. What a fucking loser. We all know who's at the top of the dominance hierarchy now. <laughs> <laughs> You'll turn out another useless bollocks like that fucking idiot of a father of yours. You'll never have to fucking nothing. You're some piece of shit. I'd like a family someday. You're some piece of shit. You'll never have to fucking nothing. I'd like a family someday. You're some piece of shit. And they all only laughing at you. Well, Dicky, how is life treating you? Same as ever, Frankie. Jeez, that bad, eh? Yeah. You'll feel late tonight, lad. Yeah, I had to get petrol. Hey! 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 
Frank? Yep. Yep. Well. Did you ever feel like you were wasting your life? I did waste my life, Dicky. It is all behind me now. That's why I had to be at you, you see. Era, look, I know I'm not much of a role model, but I don't want you to end up like me. Why did you never leave, Frank? Why didn't you get the fuck away out of here? Yeah, sure I made mistakes, Dicky. My mistakes made my decisions for me, didn't you see? I haven't a heart to get into it all now. It'll only bring you down anyway. You have your own struggles. Them is the rest of us. Alright, Frank. Promise me you'll get out of here, Declan. Promise me you'll get out of here and you won't end up like me. What do you mean, Frank? As soon as you can, Dicky. Get a few pounds together and get the fuck out of here. This place will devour you, Dick. You'll take your eye off the ball for a second and your best years will be gone. Pished up again a all. Nothing to do with in but piece away the rest. Frank. Here, I don't be asking any questions now, Dicky. Just promise me you'll think about what I said. I won't be able to be dishonest with you in the morning. So I need to know you'll listen to your fucking idiot of an uncle just this once. Alright, Frank, I'll, I'll think about it. Good man. You might, you might pull in there a bit, Dicky. I'm going to be sick. Yeah. No bother, Frankie. Sorry, Jesus. <coughs> oh, fuck you anyway. <laughs> <laughs>